afternoon. My name is Jin Su Kim, full professor of computer science and engineering Tech. Excellent. Yep. Um, Thank you for being the lecture. It's really that. <laughs> what I'm going to talk today is uh, using uh, data visualization techniques to detect uh, personal information leakage. I'm going to present my talk into four parts. First of all, I'll mention a few things to say the importance of drive for privacy research. And then uh, I'm going to a system that we developed and the, how we implement the visualization technique. Finally, uh, I'll summarize my presentation. Now, background and motivation. Nowadays, uh, the internet allows us to access all kinds of information from all of the world. And most of them are free. So, in fact, uh, data is on overdrive, flooding out of the dozens of connected devices who use MK. And it shows no signs of slowing down. So it is true that with uh, more information can be better visited. And uh, the popular, popular saying that there are two sides of coins is also true in the case of the internet. Hence, uh, this uh, why the introduction of the internet led to many people. Unfortunately, also came with several problems. Most serious company did. So, the, these problems can arise in our privacy security. So, this leakage of personal information related to cyber crimes. So we consider the problem of social cost as a result of danger. So every tiny budget is potential data source and into huge data problems. Hence um, it's not only the size of big data that makes it unique but also it's an unstructured form that can cause serious issues for handling that. So data sets are uh, becoming bigger and more diverse. This unstructured form is a big cause big issues to incorporate them into an analytical form. So this structured and unstructured data give rise to complex adult processing requirements across the data management and analysis life cycle including visualization. The such analysis often demand efficient, high performance computing infrastructure to be a robust model and uh, Storage resources. During the process of monitoring and detecting potential information leakage, visualization techniques will become even more important as the volume of data continues to increase. Here, I have to say three things so system architecture and component system, the overall system control. This diagram illustrates proper system architecture. And our proper system consists of three stages. On the first stage, 
is proposes to bring the data, global data from server using secure file transfer protocol and JDBC API. And the second stage is stored in Hadoop. And Hadoop distributed the file system cluster primarily consists of a, a name node that manages file system metadata and uh, data node that store the actual data, then Spark library for the explore the data analysis in a scalable way. And then Elastic Search is a distributed document store, which can store and retrieve complex data structure in real time. At the final stage is our system produce a visual complex. If the system gets go ahead, then abnormal detection will be produced. This table shows the system requirements. Basically, the proposed system has been developed on the Eclipse platform and uh, Apache Hadoop project demo also was implemented. This uh, diagram illustrates our system pro. As I mentioned, our system consists of three steps. Data acquisition, data analysis, visualization. Let's turn now to discuss logical explanation of what the system is doing in each step. Let's start with uh, step one, data acquisition. The collection of data depends on the type of raw data. In case of the file data, we uh, secure file transfer protocol is used. In case of DBMS, we use JDBC API. This is a subset of raw data using SFTP. Uh, this uh, step two uh, stored in hardware. And then data analytics platform is built which comprise of both uh, batch analytics and real-time analytics. Especially in this study, we concern the process the following eight different personal information of data. Uh, three of them we use uh, batch analysis. The batch, batch is a uh, a collection of data points that have been grouped together with a specific time interval. And batch process is typically used when time is not a critical factor. On the other hand, real-time analysis or stream process is used when near instant results are desired. Less of five items of raw data use real-time analysis. Uh, there is a method of handling data in which uh, information is organized, analyzed, analyzed as it is generated. Uh, this uh, diagram shows process data by Hadoop. Uh, this process is by Hadoop skip this one. So as a result of stage two, a personal log information of data stored in elastic searching. As soon as a document has been stored in elastic searching, it can be achieved uh, by any node in the cluster. This is processed by Spark and stored in elastic searching. Now let's turn to step three, final, final stages, data visualization. Uh, for visualization processing on the app, uh, Apache Tomcat is used as an application server. And we use also high chart programming uh, packages. In fact, uh, data visualization, visualization takes many times. In this study, we, we consider for five different presentation types. 
let's uh, turn to visualization time. Uh, depends on the change of timeline. It's proposed to identify the current status of personal information loaders according to the time period. In this case, line chart is best suited for trend-based trend visualization of data over a period of time. As an illustration, this line chart showing users' hourly load volumes. As you can see, at 9 a.m., 9 a.m., the work start the most. And there are also many loads around 2 p.m. So through this, uh, we can predict abnormal uh, user personal information. This illustrated bar chart showing daily load. You can see that the load, load is most on Monday and Wednesday. And load volume is decreasing weekly. Now let's have a look at the special relationship of connected location. In this case, map charts are good for giving numbers in geographical context. This part, best and worst for who the area is, trend and outline. So by showing connection status, uh, personal information or map geographical location, it's possible to confirm which areas the connections are tempted. So especially in this case, since our personal uh, information server is internal data, so we are assuming that these uh, connections may not be new. So now I have a look relationship visualization type. So Those, use those chart when, uh, when the data presentation is used to relationship between many values. Primarily scatter chart uh, used when, uh, for correlation and distribution analysis. And bubble chart can be another option so you need to add another dimension to scatter pro chart. So this uh, bubble chart illustrates the relationship between out of hours access and personal information overuse. It can be assumed that correlation coefficient is point A. That is a significant relationship. Let's turn to distribution visualization type. Distribution status by classifying classify robots provide the overall view of the situation. So in this case, scatter chart uh, showing data distribution or clustering trend help you spot anomalies of the area. This uh, illustrates scatter chart showing the status of uh, transition over time. For in, in this case, lead numbers point is above the threshold. So, in this case, uh, it is possible to confirm the status of transition over time, uh, personal information leaked by checking whether or not the personal information is contained. Now, finally, let's have a look at comparison visualization type. Charts are perfect for comparing on a many value set that can, uh, can easily show lowest high values in the data set. To create a comparison chart, we use the following three uh, different types of graph. This is an example of a heat map representing the number of loadings of personal information. Here may be graphical representing data uh, in which each individual value is contained in matrix. So those shades represent the quantities as defined by the measurement. So if number of cases is small, 
bluish uh, express and the lead fungus cases large. Particularly this uh, this figure shows there are many, many personal uh, information codes in July. This uh, rusted later chart shows considered normal patterns of personal information rows. A laser top later chart plot data point has symbols, lines, or areas in circular layer. In this case, especially in August, known as orange color, abnormal patterns uh, of personal information over this law and prospective uh, retired law was remarkable this point. And this was the box plot showing mostly normal patterns. A box plot display major dispersion and useful uh, graphical display for describing the behavior of data. So this illustrates especially in August, abnormal only patterns uh, can be easily identified by analyzing and showing abnormal numbers of the line that exceed interquartile ranges. So the, the outlier is identified as large scale data set that so can, can appear circles to the top of the box. So let's briefly summarize my presentation. We have looked at, we have developed a uh, typical architecture for pushing the detection system and built and distributed across the structure, enabling distributed storage, distributed processing, and the numerous um, Apache software foundation projects make the system required by the project to deploy integrated and work with a uh, massive amount of structural, unstructured data and patterns, uh, trend, correlation, then might go on detecting text-based data can be exposed and uh, recognized easier with uh, data visualization we developed through this study, this expected it will help prevent implement personal information liquid advance by providing uh, better insight, especially through data visualization process. And this is for me. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>